I'm so tapped up, and let's play Blue Revolver. Tester notes and extra. Yeah, this should be the. This this game's coming out tomorrow, so I'm pretty sure it's pretty final. Ooh, show hitboxes. Kiosk mode makes the game run like an arcade machine. Turn it off, hold special bomb on the title screen. Oh, that's neat! So if you if you got like an arcade PC sort of thing, you can put play this game like, you know, like an arcade thing. Bullet pattern names on, skip the control. I'm just gonna leave everything, I kinda want the hitboxes on, but I'll just leave everything on by default. Or on its defaults, rather. Oh, we can rotate! Excellent. Yeah, this is a vertical shoot 'em up. We're just gonna play it normal. I, I really need to get a mountable, like, what is that called? There's a thing where you can mount your uh, PC around your. Uh... Um. You can mount your monitor and turn it around. I actually haven't played this before. I. Have been waiting for this for a while. I did not know it was coming out so soon. Rapid fire button. Oh, that's a bomb. So this is rapid fire. fire oh, does this have a cost? Okay. Hold the fire button for focus fire. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, I played Blood Hill games like this before. But yeah, this is a really cute looking game. Uh, I really love the pixels. The character design is really nice. Um, I've been sort of watching for a distance for a while, and I did not expect to see it launch so suddenly. Alright, it's this thing. In a pinch, press bomb for smart bomb, clearing bullets on the screen. Yep. So I'm using quick succession to build up an 8 chain. Interesting. Build up an 8 chain, then flourish for big points using a special weapon. Oh, I see. I like when scoring. Mm. Maple berry and Derisami? Uh, we're going with the bunny. So cute! The usual hectic experience. The game will try to match to your ability for shooting veterans. For novice players, enemy patterns feel easier on you. Automatically bomb if you get hit. Oh, I love when games do difficulties like this. The game's locked to the highest difficulty. You can clear this. Yeah, I love when games don't do, like, the easy, normal, hard. Um, they do, like... You know, this is for people with experience in the genre. This is for people without experience in the genre, or they're not good at the genre. And this is, you know, for people really great at this particular game. Like, that's how difficulty should be handled, in my opinion. Like, the easy, normal, hard thing... You gotta focus more on audience than just... Than, um... I love when games give you options like this. Variable option. The options follow you. Alright, let's just go with power. <laughs> I secretly love English um, and shoot em up stuff like this. Um, offense, hyper blaster. Well, not even English, just cute voices saying out the English things in a very, like, simple English way. Um, offense, art caster. It's like not quite the Raiden laser. Well, I guess there's lots of things like that. Uh, I like that Harper laser. Let's go. Alright, it's so up to four extends. Wait, what? Oh, that was a cutscene. Okay. Oh, they've got ground units. Oh, it's just like an SNES thing with those um, the, the little overpass things. I knew I would like this game, so I actually stopped looking at it. Like, I get to this point where I'm like, okay, I'll, li I'll like that game. And I just stopped looking at it, and I... This game was in... This had an alpha demo, I think, on Itch.io. Uh, I'll see if I can link to that. I'm not sure if it's still up. But uh, I never I never played it, just because, like, I, I knew I would like it. It's one of those games, and I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna get it. Um, oh, a, a review copy of this was provided by the developer. I'm playing it slightly like, before release, like I said before. So, uh... I like that the combo is short. I honestly, I don't like big, like, never get hit combo systems. Um, I mean, never getting hit is its own, like, reward anyway, right? So, ah. Oh. I shouldn't talk so much while... Doing boss fights, but I like the eight-hit thing, and then 
I like when scoring systems have like a simple like method to victory. Like it's something that even a novice can sort of focus on. I don't really like like super mega ridiculous convoluted um, scoring systems. So yeah, I rather like this one. This feels just like an SNS. I, re I really love this palette. A nice restricted palette is an underrated um, or underappreciated, I suppose, uh, luxury. Like the Game Boy Jam, GB Jam, um, just finished up, and um, <laughs> um, those games always have some really interesting palettes. Before I do anything too stupid, it is about 9.40 on a Monday, and I just... I I was not really planning to record stuff today, but I, I ended up getting the review code for this, and I really wanted to show it, and I really didn't have time to practice it. And I've had this thing where, like, I'm like, oh, I want to get good at this shoot 'em up before I play it, and so I think, okay, I'll, you know, I'll play it, I'll practice it later, I'll practice it later, and then I just never play it, so I just decided, hey, we're gonna freaking play it. Because otherwise it will never get played. Oh, and I like that segmented uh, health bar. But I wish it showed at the bottom too. I really can't look up. I, mean, I could, but... Rinko! When it shows the names of its patterns, I think. Like, that's another uh, thing. I like I like when games show it at the bottom as well. I like the character designs in this too. Oh, I missed a break. Apparently that's a thing. You've, apparently, yeah, lots of bullet hell games do sort of thing where like... You can shoot off certain parts of a boss, either to make the game easier, or for more score, or, you know, whatever. I guess this is one of those ones that goes for, you know, more score. Hit got a half actually does that in a really interesting way. You kind of have to break off the bits um, to extend your time and allow access to the boss to deal, you know, the real damage. I keep forgetting to use this little beamer deemer. I really like the score system though, I'm not, you know, you're never going to be used to a scoring system immediately, but I really like the flow of, you know, get your 8 combo and then start using a special weapon. It's nice and simple and it's not like, you know, you got to build up the 18,000 chain and then use the, you know, butt laser um, to, you know, side strafe the enemies while grazing bullets and tapping the B button with your left nipple, uh, and then you get, you know, the maximum score points. Uh, but only if you have one life left, and you know, I, I, I don't dig that. I like bullet hell games, but uh, I'm not a big score attack person, and I appreciate when the score attack, it, when, you know, playing for score is something you can just do normally, like, you don't have to play all weird like, oh no, I gotta kill it! Alright. Alright, so maybe break is just certain, like, events on the stage that you can get to happen? Like, because that thing was gonna escape. I'm so glad that contact with enemies on the ground does not kill you. I hate when games do that, it's like, they're clearly not, like, they're clearly on the ground, and I am not on the ground. Why does touching them kill me? It's so silly. Well, that's not a break, though? Okay. Also, I do wonder if this game has an alternate button for rapid fire and for hold shot. I don't really mind rapid fire tapping. As long as, as long as, the one type of rapid fire I do not like in shoot 'em ups is when you have to mash faster to shoot more bullets. I will not accept that. When I can just tap like twice per second and get maximum speed like I'm doing, I'm, you know, just gently tapping. Um, not hurting my thumb or anything. I'm fine with this. I, I would prefer a second option. Is that, isn't that me? Oh, isn't that me? That character looks like me. Is this, am I fighting Dark Link? Is this, is this my shadow self? The true form? I don't know what's happening. I should probably start using bombs. I, my, my secret is that I'm really bad at knowing when to bomb. And I just always either do a panic bomb or do not bomb when I needed to. So I tend to... I tend to prefer the panic bomb. Because like at least I deal some damage, maybe get some score depending on what kind of game it is. Sometimes bombs increase your score, sometimes bombs will reduce your score. It's usually more common that a, a well-timed bomb is, uh, 
a really good score. Ah, I knew I was going to get hit and I didn't press one. Wait, do I even have bombs? Yes, I do. Oh, this it's a meter. I thought it was that count. That's my lives at the bottom, isn't it? I guess I'll play until I get my first game over. Um, I might stream this at some point if my internet's still working properly. Um, I just want to do a quick show-off thing. Like, this is my very first time playing ever? Uh, who would have guessed? Um... Oh, no, I pressed B! Game over! Ah. Uh, let's just go for tap. Too much, but tab. No, that's not. Weird. I'm not. I'm not a weird cola. What? What is tab? Is it like? Oh, I went past P. Um. Uh, what? What is tab? Or tab? Tab. Is it just like plain old cola? Post to Twitter. Nah. All right. Let's try. Let's try that second character, shall we? Okay. What's missions? Is that just level select? Oh, I can't go out of this. I like that it changes your talking head. I, I just want to go back to the main menu, though. Bomb skip. Alright. Let's go to the title. Uh, wait, what's missions? Survival 101. Oh! Excluding the boss. Oh, that's neat. It has little missions for you. I like when games have little extras like this. Uh, stage select. What's this? Oh! You can change your... You know, rank difficulty, start from start. Oh, this is really cool! I really appreciate when games, when shoot 'em ups have some nice features like this. Um, so it lets you practice and stuff. I really never liked that. It's so weird that you can't go backwards in this menu, though. Um, unlocks? Oh, neat! You can unlock in game wallpapers and stuff. This is a cute way to add a little bit of, you know feature to the game. Continue from any point after losing all lives. Oh, that's a neat unlock, too. It's very expensive, as you might expect, but... Menu remix. Oh, there's remixes! Alternate palette. I don't know who most of these characters are. They're all very cute, and that's what's... That's what really matters, right? Oh, I think it's... I think Y, or X, is the back button, actually. I just expect it to be B. Which is, you know... Oh! I was just talking about this while playing Thumper. I really appreciate when games let you just be like, you know what, I'm not good at this game, I want to see all the content, just let me unlock all of it. Like, I really wish Rhythm Games did this. But yeah, you're not good at this game, just give yourself 99 stars, play with um, free mode. You know what? That's fine, because you know you cheated. I mean, it's not going to, you know, make you MLG Pro or anything. It's just you enjoying the game. I really prefer when games do stuff like that, so this game hits all of the right buttons. I these are these are good buttons that are being pressed. Even if it's weird that X is back. Anyway, we're gonna play one more round. We're gonna play as May. Um No we'll, we'll, we'll still stay on hyper. We'll try out that white shot. Why the shot though? Oh, her weapons are totally different! Oh, it's so cool! I love when games are like this. Uh, one of my favorite games, Hidugata Hapa, is, uh, is one of my favorites just because it has so much variety in characters. That's why there's little cutscenes, but... Oh, I meant to check! One more thing. I want to check in options... Input. Rapid fire. Button four. I think there is a rapid fire button. Like, m more modern games usually have this. Yeah, I'll probably do more of this in a stream or something sometime. Skip. Okay, yeah, there's. If you press Y, the default vine, uh, you can rapid fire without changing it. It's. A lot of, you know, way back when, you know, games were just limited by number of buttons. 
And uh, so that's how stuff like Rapid Fire is a different feature turned out to be, you know. And more modern games tend to, you know, you get you just toss an extra button in there for Rapid Fire if you want to do it you know, automatically. And that's not really an old, you know, it, it's an old style feature, and it's like, I don't really feel it's better to require the person to tap. It's, you know, it's whatever. So, yeah, I, I really love all of the options of this. This really understands what you should be in the modern shoot 'em up. And uh, I really wish we had more games like this. Like, they're still so great, and there's a lot of modern conveniences. There's a lot of, you know, it's a lot more accessible than a lot of people tend to give, um, you know, bullet hell style shoot 'em ups for. And I mean, I guess it's kind of bullet hell. Um, but I mean, it, I would not say it's like crazy difficult or anything. There's even easier mode than this. There's a lot of features for accessibility. You can play with free mode if you want, you know. There was that menu option just to be like, hey, give me all the stuff. And then you can play with free mode and just continue all you want, you know, not worry about credits. I like when games have stuff like that. I, I like doing, you know, in games like this, my goal tends to be, you know, a one credit clear. But if I have to credit feed my first playthrough just to be able to learn the stuff, uh, I'm okay with that. I, I kind of, I don't know, depending on how hard the game is, I like being, you know, forced to, you know, at least unlock credits. Where do you think you're going in that machine? Uh, through you, apparently. Does nobody talk to Bunny Girl? Is Bunny Girl not? Why does Bunny Girl not get the story? Such as it is. I doubt there's like crazy amounts of. Oh, I saw that coming. I like your bomb. It's like a giant, like, laser shuriken. Video games need more laser shurikens. Oof. I mean, yeah, definitely. It's definitely bullet hell, but I mean, it's not like. murder your family hard or anything. Ah, oh, damn it. I say as I die. I'm just, it's, it, it's kind of late, but uh, I think you get the idea. She's got Pocky. I don't think that's how you eat Pocky. How dare you eat that Pocky that suggestively. Calm down, young lady. With their freaking cyber rabbit ears, I just noticed they're, they're not attached to like floaty. I guess they're both rabbits then. But I like the more particular attached ears rabbit a bit more. But they're both good rabbits. All rabbits are good rabbits. That is, that is in fact the secret. There are no bad rabbits. There are only misunderstood rabbits. Oop. This wide shot is a bit weaker than the straight shot, which is expected. I'd probably prefer the straight shot, but I wanted to do, you know, I wanted to show things off. And I, you know, you never know. Sometimes certain weapons are, you know, better than you would expect. But the wide. The wide and power shot discrepancy. It's a very. The shooting up genre is a very. It's a very. How to say this? It's a very mature genre. There's a lot of. Uh, very effective. Um, ooh, got a panic bond there. Um, there's a lot of conventions that just work really well, and longtime players really understand. So. It's very helpful in making a game, because there's a lot of really good conventions that. You know, players will get. Players will understand your wide shot, your toothpaste laser, your uh, wide beam. Oh, dang, I died. That even easier. And I kind of like that the game doesn't make you just explode. It's just like disengage immediately. It's like I hate when games like rub in your face. Oh, you killed everybody, you stupid jerk loser. It's like you know what? Just just chill. Why do games gotta be like all murder your face? Like even in a bullet hell game, I don't think there's any need to like rub it into the play or anything. You know, it's... It, let, let the gameplay be the stressor and the fun. Like, these games are very, actually very relaxing for me. Um, yeah, I think... I think I'll try to stream this sometime. I, I always say that and then end up not streaming. But I really like this, and... Um, and uh, I would highly recommend it to anybody interested in... Uh, it should be... It's coming out... I'll publish this whenever the game is out, so you can buy this on Steam right now. And it should be on Itch.io too, I think. The demo is on Itch.io, so I hope it's on Itch.io. 
But uh, yeah, I have a friend of mine that who loves vertical shoot 'em ups. She should she should be interested in this one. I'm kind of surprised how few people I know like shoot 'em ups. It's disappointing. And you should like shoot 'em ups too. You should you should play some more shoot 'em up games. You know that, my friend, random internet person who I can't possibly know the name of. You should play more shoot 'em up games. Maybe you should play this game. <laughs> 